In office, Hillary overturned ban to let Islamists into U.S., now he's accused of rape. Democrats are the great protectors and defenders of women, or so they claim. Of course, when it comes to actually keeping predators away from women, the name Clinton should be a giant red flag. The number of sexual abuse claims and even rape cases that can be linked in one way or another to the Clinton inner circle is appallingly high. And now there's yet another crime to add to that list. A Muslim Swiss national by the name of Tariq Ramadan is currently facing rape and assault claims by three different women. During the early 2000s, the Bush administration found ties between Ramadan and terrorist funding, and banned the Islamic professor from entering the United States. Despite those terrorist connections and the fact that Tariq Ramadan is the grandson of the founder of the Muslim Brotherhood, then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton decided in 2010 that the Islamists should be allowed to come to America. Clinton personally signed an order allowing Ramadan to regain his visa and enter the United States, according to the New York Times. What could possibly go wrong? Fast forward to today. In the increasingly Islamic-influenced country of France, Tariq Ramadan is allegedly doing a lot more than just teaching about Muslim theology. Mr. Ramadan, who is Professor of Contemporary Islamic Studies at Oxford University, has been accused of rape and sexual assault by three women in the past ten days, stated the National. First terrorism ties and now rape? Sounds like a model citizen. To be clear, the alleged crimes committed by Ramadan occurred in Europe, not the United States, but it is obvious that Hillary Clinton didn't take the Bush air warning signs about this dangerous man seriously and her decision to overrule the earlier decision on the Islamic theologian likely influenced other countries to grant him entry, as well. In fact, the same Muslims can do no wrong attitude espoused by Clinton has impacted the rape cases. When the accusations first came to light, the response by Oxford University was to side with Ramadan and accuse everyone who doubted him of being Islamophobic bigots. It's not just about sexual violence. For some students it's just another way for Europeans to gang up against a prominent Muslim intellectual, wide Oxford University's Middle East Center director, according to Chirwell Online. See the trend? In Hillary Clinton's eyes, it was impossible that a Muslim professor might have terrorist ties. She saw Bush as Islamophobic, and was so eager to signal her virtue that she put Americans at risk by rubber stamping an entry visa for Ramadan. The same thing happened once the rape accusations emerged. This time, it was Oxford University that decided appearing to be an ally of Islam was more important than protecting students. As always, leftists believe their own narratives about the world while ignoring the glaring reality. Islam has an absolutely dismal record on women's rights around the globe, yet liberals cover their eyes and pretend everything is fine. Is there anything the Clintons have touched that hasn't turned into a terrible mess? Her time in government may hopefully be over, but Hillary Clinton's legacy of ineptitude and terrible decisions lives on, lives on.